to make it musical. That's fantastic. What's happening sometimes is that you are wall-wine individual notes rather than pushing through a musical line and bringing it back down. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and I don't just mean like a long note, like a tie or something like that, because yes, we need to give it some direction, but even when we've got like moving eighth notes, I'm hearing like, yeah, 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 as of da 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 dee, you know what I'm saying? So it's weird because a lot of people do it because it's, well, I'm pushing through it and I'm pushing through the notes, but it's about not making your air change on every single note. Mm -hmm. Try for me in the beginning. Let's see if we can get some of that out. Um, so where you come in in the second measure, where is the peak of all of that shape of the line? When I come in in the second measure? Um, you come in in the second, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got three measures there that's a little musical phrase, right? Where's the peak of it? Um, at the fourth of the D. Yes. So that needs to be the goal with your air. Not every individual note, mm -hmm. but you've got to leave there, and then you've got to bring it right back down. Okay, okay try that. Continue to nitpick through that 
think about how you shape some of your longer notes in particular, just so we don't get a wah-wah effect, but we get a really gorgeous musical line. Because you're already doing so much of that really, really well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That'll take you to the next level. Thank you for playing today.